This is a project that has been on the go for a while. It um, started in 2018 with some funding from the Enabling Accessibility Fund provided by the federal government. We're in the public library in Blythe and the physical space itself has not changed. The funding went towards upgrading the um, usability of the space. So we'll, um, we'll come around and show that they've installed an adult size change table, but the sink is the same. The um, paper towel and soap dispenser are previous um, uh, from the previous bathroom, so they haven't changed. Um, but the, the focus today is looking at this toilet and the grab bar setup. The toilet that used to be here was one of the feature bathrooms that I used to do in my presentations that was a like a what not to do kind of situation. Um, and we have changed that. And I, I really am excited about this because it shows that you can really work with what you've got in terms of space and situate with a new taller toilet and grab bars installed in a way that makes it work for everybody. So what was here was a low toilet um, and this grab bar. And that sounds really solid, doesn't it? But what I wanna point out is the amount of space that is here between the toilet and the wall. So normally uh, an accessible center line to the wall is about 18 inches, um, between 16 and 18 inches. And this is way, obviously way farther than that. It's almost two feet. Um, so it really negates the practicality of this grab bar. It's not useful at all. I actually have never, as a wheelchair user, used this bathroom. Today will maybe be the first day that I use it because the way it was set up wasn't accessible. So instead, what we did was we couldn't move the plumbing. That was not an option. So we couldn't shift the toilet over. Instead, we replaced the toilet with a taller toilet, clean, with an open front seat. That's another point here. Um, the flusher is on the back, so it makes it accessible from either side, easy to reach. And we've added full down grab bars on both sides. Pardon my gravel grinding on my wheels. Um, and notice that these grab bars aren't just installed on the wall. They're installed with a back uh, plate of 5 8 inch plywood that came, we ordered with these grab bars. These are Healthcraft products. And putting this back plate on this, um, this plywood meant that the, ply the plywood gets attached to the studs. And then the grab bar gets attached to the plywood. So this is super solid, the safest way to install a grab bar. And we did these fold down on both sides because the distance to the wall was too far. So you could put an L bar on the wall, but no one would be able to reach it if they were seated on the toilet. So the fold down grab bars on both sides makes it super accessible because you can transfer from both sides. You can use both grab bars. You can choose the side that works for you and everybody wins. There is also been reinstalled the rear horizontal grab bar. Um, you can see that it's mostly attached to the plywood there as well um, if somebody were to need a grab bar in that position. The old installation, you can see where it was with the, where the mud is. And these screws right here, there's no stud. So when that was installed as it used to be, it was installed um, only on one side solid to the wall. So again, not a safe application of a grab bar. So grab bars are amazing safety rails, whatever you want to call them, but only if they're installed safely and in a way that works for everybody. So ta-da, finished product. Um, you'll notice the toilet roll holder is here as well. Um, so a single roll will be attached there. We're just finishing the setup um, because the double roll is far of a reach for um, somebody who doesn't have balance. And we'll also install either a, a waste disposal attached somewhere here or maybe just a small garbage can um, so that it's when, within reach when you're seated on the toilet. This is the feature that makes for a bathroom that is usable for everybody. Um, 
An adult size change table is a really tough commodity to find in a community. So for a community space like this library to have an adult size change table, it's a real game changer, especially for families with young children that have disabilities or old children that have disabilities. So I, I, I'm guessing this hasn't been used yet because um, the library has still been closed because of COVID, but um, this is a presolet. has the remote that folds down the table. It's got an awesome, soft, um, waterproof cover on it. The table itself raises and lowers. So if I needed this um, to change my pants, for example, I'd be able to lower it to my wheelchair height, transfer onto the table, um, and if there was an assistant with me and they needed to raise it so that they weren't leaned over, then the table does that as well. The hook um, is mounted for the controls, right? Just like that, so easily within reach. Um, garbage can is located here. It's a bit of a tight space, um, but we, we had to make it work in the space that we had available to us. So I'm excited to share with people that this is here because like I said, adult size change tables are um, few and far between. And eventually it folds out of the way. Ta-da! You can see on the bottom there's also a strap available um, if somebody needs that for security as well. Bring it back up. Golden. The question on your mind I know is how much did all of this cost? And the the case study that is going to go along with this video will outline what those costs were. Um, but just in a nutshell, what did we spend money on? We bought a new toilet, we bought the grab bars and the backing to support those grab bars, and we bought an adult size change table. That's it. There was no construction costs, like we didn't move walls or have to re-drywall or add backing behind drywall. Um, so I'll outline what those expenses were, but it, it was just the expense of the features. Everything else is the same. So. Don't let costs be the thing that prevent you from making an accessible bathroom.